Hey yo, <laughs> hey man, listen, I've done a lot of album reactions on this channel, bro. And I saw a lot of album covers. <laughs> I ain't never seen one quite like this one. Bro, peep his album cover. He got his whole food stamp car <laughs> as his album cover, man. And I respect ODB, bro. He don't give a fuck what anybody think about him, going to think about him. He going to do him and live his life, man. Rest in peace to ODB, man. Peace and blessing, y'all, man. It's your boy Amai, back to y'all with another album review. Old oh, Dirty Bastard. This album called The Return. The Return of the 36 Chambers. Back to the 36 Chambers. The dirty version. Like the 36 Chambers I'm wouldn't fucking crazy enough. This the dirty version of that. <sighs> y'all know I reviewed the Eminem album, the Slim Shady LP, a couple days ago. I say up to this point. That was the funniest album I ever heard in my life. For real, I laughed my ass off of that project. But y'all told me in the comments, and I done a couple ODB reactions on my channel. Like, I'm already knowing ODB. This man is crazy as fuck. Look at the album cover. <laughs> hey, y'all said this is the funniest album ever made. So, man, I had to watch a couple Bernie Mac, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, skits and all that. Hey man, like, subscribe if y'all new, man. And make sure y'all push that like button. Y'all know I don't get paid for these album reactions, so pushing that like button will be much appreciated. So, ODB, 17 tracks, hour and eight minutes long. Let's get it. All right, we got track number one, the intro. Let's get it. I never, I never saw so many people tonight. Huh. I mean, y'all all got it crowded up in there, and that's good. I'm glad that y'all giving it up for the... Uh, Y'all giving it up for it, that's good. Y'all make me want to cry or something. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a special night. What they let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Russell Jones. Russell Jones. You see, I had to let that one hey, loose. Tonight, <laughs> you're going to see something that you speak to you about is something crazy. He definitely He's something is. something insane. He's the greatest performer ever since. Uh, w w what's the guy's name? Oh, dirty. Uh, oh, uh, dirty. Uh, James Brown. He's bad. James and Brown. He's a cool guy, and you really need, I mean, need to really get to know him. Full <laughs> time. Give it up for the old dirty doggy. I mean, <laughs> oh, dirty. Oh, dirty <laughs> bastard. Oh, my God. This shit about to be hilarious. Oh, dirty. Yo, you can play that shit, man. Remember the time I told you? Man, when, I, when I got burnt, kind of real. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this bitch. Bitch, a new bitch, god damn it. Oh, bitch, burnt me again with God of Real. So I didn't get burnt. This one dude is fucking cuckoo, man. Times, if you really look at it. Yeah. I, I, I love the cannibals. He was good. Oh, shit, he was good. I just want you to know, girl, that I dedicated. What the fuck? This song, well, well, the song really. And I want to hold y'all to hear this shit. <laughs> First time. <laughs> hey, yo. Never you suck my dick. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's it. I oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> The earth tremble under my ball. Oh my god, this is only the first track, man. Sun this is the intro. Out of me real fast. 
No 36. This is only the I intro, man. Only the intro. I want to create a new chamber. Oh? And what would that be? Yeah, already, already know Slim Shady LP don't got shit on this in terms of, like, humor, bro. Comedy. I ain't got shit on this. And that was only the intro. <laughs> It's fucking hilarious. I wonder if he did any stand-up skits or something. He would be funny, you said. He probably did back in the day. I'm going to check it out for sure. This dude. We got track number two, Shimmy Shimmy Ya. Let's get it. Can't even sing. Yeah, just sing or something to get some pussy. Ooh, baby, I like it, boy. Yeah, baby, I like it, boy. from the verse number one or they must have changed up some lyrics or whatnot no nah, that was the same verse that's crazy it's still a hard song nonetheless though i ain't complaining because the music yeah we react to the music video it had a whole second verse on that that's crazy i ain't complaining though that's still a hard song i ain't complaining got track number three baby come on let's get it yeah are you taping baby baby are you taping changing and whatnot where it'd be deep as hell then it'd be light just like to add to the humor to the to his lyrics and whatnot i like that it makes him stand out from the rest of them like he literally when i say he one of a kind real shit bro i don't 
I think that's his name. Like, that's his acronym in his name, bro. Like, the meaning of his name means he ain't no father to his style. Boy, that perfectly explained it right there. Shit, he one of a kind for sure. Got track number four, Brooklyn Zoo. I reviewed this two years ago. Hey, I go back to this song a lot compared to the rest of the songs I reviewed on my channel. So, obviously, I heard this song before and I reviewed it. So, we're going to give it a listen. Let's get it. I bust that nigga ass like right now. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, none of them niggas can't Hey, this song what? hard. You could never fuck me, my nigga. I'll fuck you up right now. What? 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 Fuck uh -huh. Bust your motherfucking dirty. ass, boy. I ain't no motherfucking joke. You know who you talk to? Old oh, dirty bastard. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck you up right now. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> fuck I'm the one man on me, they showing. I never been tooken out. I keep MCs looking out. I drop signs like Crosby dropping babies. Enough to make a nigga go crazy. Hey, son, I keep playing it in orbit while I be coming with deeper and more shit. Hey, son, I keep playing this in orbit. See, when I reviewed this song, I didn't catch that line. Then I figured out his real name is A Son. A Son, A Son. I keep playing this in orbit. I finally caught that line. Y'all peeped that to me in the review. This dude, the underrated lyricist, bro. That I like that line. To make you break and shake your ass as I today. Rhyme good as a tasty cake makes. This <laughs> style a master in. Niggas catching headaches. What? What? You need aspirin. This type of pain you couldn't even kill. But my door, fuck around, get sprayed with Lysol. In your face like a can <laughs> of mace, baby. Like your motherfucking profile. Nah. Give me my fucking shit. Wow, that scene ain't heard. No one knows. You forget. Niggas be quiet as cat. Uh. Now you know nothing before you do a whole fucking lot. Your ass don't want to get shot. I took it out by a nigga who couldn't figure. Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure. Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure. How to pull a fucking gun trigger. I said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nigga want to get too close to the utmost. But I got stacks that attack any whack host. Introducing your fuck that nigga's name. Uh. My hip hop drops on your head like rain. Uh. And when it rain, it pulls. Nigga, get up. Act like a pig. Try to hold shit. Uh. So I take your ass out quick. The mic's I'm had it, my nigga. You could suck my dad if you want to step to my motherfucking rep. Blow, 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 blow to death. You got <laughs> shot with a <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Another motherfucking hard rock. Sucking uh. on your back and cause Ross what you lack. Uh. You want to react? Bring it on back. Same mm -hmm. with you when you stepped up to the old dirty bastard. Brooklyn. Oh, man, so this is so hard you as you fuck. To, to the old dirty bastard. Brooklyn. So, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, so what? My nigga. Perfect. Perfect. Love this Same song. I love this song. Same. Same with you. I'm still tweaking off that line. A hey, son. I keep playing this in orbit. That's a double line tantra from his first name. A hey, son. A hey, son. He an underrated lyricist, bro. See, when I was young, I even got to his catalog what I'm doing right now. I seen the outrageous shit Old Dirty Bastard did with the videos, you know, the interviews and all that. Now I'm getting to this catalog understanding this man is an underrated lyricist. It's a lot of double entendres on this song. Hey, this man, that's how you know he a one-man army for real, besides the beats and all that. Man, he, when he be like, Ch -ch -ch -bow, he don't do no, like, gunshot sounds or nothing. That's his actual voice, bro. He doing this shit by himself. Like, he be doing the ad-libs by himself. Everything is purely him. Other than the beat, it's him, for real. He a one-man army. <laughs> hey, this line still cracked me up. He said, niggas catch your headaches. What, what, you need aspirin? You mastered it. Like, man, I'm telling y'all, bro, he underrated as a lyricist, bro. Y'all gonna hear it. We gonna hear it on this album. He underrated. All right, we got track number five. Hippida to the hopper. <laughs> Hippida to the hopper. Let's get it. <laughs> Hip into the hop into the hell no. My beat to slamming from the rugged programming. My man ball balling, hey my man, I'm jamming. You can never touch my stamina while I'm ramming the hip hop. Ah. Mr. Rah, rah, rah. Other MCs got flipped with the ease. Wrecking me for mercy. Go home, had a strip show. Represent. My name is a song, keep calm. Rhymes to smoke, you funky like a stink bomb. Boom. Nah. Man, the niggas mad, put it in the trigger. So you better run for cover. Niggas gotta loosen their ass for Them MCs are populating. The name of them of those MCs are dominating. They're all together. 
passenger carrier. Uh. You keep a bus of the hopper and you just don't stop her. Tip her to the hopper and you just don't stop her. Uh. Tip her to the hopper and you just don't stop her. The bass on this beat is crazy too. Once again, like I always been saying on my channel about ODB, he got a style that literally, if you try to duplicate it, bro, you a fucking fraud because his style can't be duplicated. His flow, his cadence, the way his vocal tone is, it can't be duplicated, bro. If you try to do that shit, I'm calling y'all as a fraud and you as a rapper, for real. Like, you can't duplicate some shit like that. And he had to have been the first one to have this type of flow. This little, it's not saying goofy. When I say goofy, not trying to be disrespectful, but some what goofy type of style. Dope ass song, dope ass beat, dope flow, dope song all around, for sure. All right, we got track number six, Raw Hide. Let's get it. Yeah. I want to let all y'all niggas know in here tonight that this is that Wu-Tang shit. Nah. It's that shit that's going to get you high. See, when you stimulate your own mind for one common cause, you we'll see, be the original we'll OG, thing. rhyming on time and in the Run place to thing. be, lady love, see me, you're a crossbreed, I'm a dollar sheet, I want action, that's what I need, uh. I never put that on my mind, cause I know when I touch the mic, it's the rhyme. She murder with me. Oh, I'm tired of sitting on my fucking ass. Niggas, I know you run around with mad fucking cash. Uh. Who the fuck wanna be an MC? <laughs> and you can't get paid to be a fucking MC. I came on my mama pussy. I'm on welfare. 26 years old, still on welfare. <laughs> so I gotta get paid. Still for on that welfare. Is truthful at or untruthful at to attack. Killing niggas who said they got stacks. Cause I don't give a fuck. Huh. I wanna see blood. Whether it's period blood or bust in your fucking face, some blood going on my fucking mind. Every time I get around devils, <sighs> let me calm down. The you niggas better stop running, cause I'm coming. I'm dope like fucking heroin. Who tame bloodkin? A goblin who cut a boot fly what? shit. Strong what? like Josh. Break one. I remain to tear your brain while I freak it. Like some fly new sneaks and shit. Now eat my shit. Kids try to creep and got hit. Now regulate and I'll be out to set up a date. Who uh. tang is banging like a raw GT. Rizza, pump the shit just like a shoddy. Watch silence up. Move them in, move them in, move them out, move them out. Stick it up. Or hide. Come soon to a theater near you would be the woke. Yeah, find yourself in the square and see his troops. Wicked mm. women putting period blood and stew. Don't that make what? Mr. Witches brew? I fear for the 85 that don't got a clue. How could he? They pouring period blood <laughs> and stew? I ain't drinking no stew, no soup ever again after I heard that. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably cap though. Mr. Regard, that's the work of Yaku. The uh -huh. Holy Ghost got you stared to death, kid. Boo! Boo! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Method Man. You always gotta keep it fly. Method Man, bro. Fly That's all I gotta say. To feel what you want to feel. People in America, all the people outside of America, for listening to our music. Uh. We gotta keep it fly for you. <laughs> See, this ain't something new that's just gonna come out of nowhere. No. This is something old. And dirty. <laughs> These dudes, Chico's, man. They all don't even have to be, all the members don't even have to rap on the same song. I'm just talking about like, you just have to have two or three of the members on one song, bro. That's an automatic hit right here, bro. Like this song right here, hard as fuck. That's what I'm saying. Wu-Tang Clan, this is not fair. Like I gotta say, even the low key members, like, like the Master Killers, bro, cold as hell. They got nine members, bro. All of them is raw as hell. All you gotta have is at least two or three members on one song. It ain't gotta be the whole group. Just get two, three members on one song like that one. 
classic, hard as fuck. Like when I first got into Wu-Tang with my reactions, I would have thought one of them was probably going to be whack. Every single member is cold as fuck, bro. From the last to the first member. We got track number seven, Damage. Let's get it. I'm saying every fucking member in Wu Tang, they are a cheat code, bro. It's just not fair, man. They a cheat code, bro. It should have been illegal to have these dudes rap, bro. How is everybody in your group is cold? I'm, I'm mad now, man. That's not fair. And don't mind me. If I didn't, it was a lot of references on that track. Probably to like the 80s, 70s TV shows, subjects, all types of stuff. So if I didn't catch it, I'm still young. I'm still learning, y'all. So. Don't don't be mad if I didn't catch everything that they were saying. Texas Chainsaw, uh, I think he said Friday Night Fever, Johnny Travolta, Happy Days, TV show or something. It's a lot of references. The Jimi Hendrix, it was a lot of references, but they was putting that shit together so well on that song. Man, I'm loving this so far. This is dope as hell. We got track number eight, Don't You Know. Let's get it. Oh, you uh, what? Dirty motherfucker. You bug it. Let's try. Yeah, I want to say what the fuck. Shit. Look at what? Dirty motherfucker, he ain't shit. Dirty motherfucker, he ain't shit. Dirty motherfucker, he ain't shit. You don't see what I see, bitch. Hey, shorty off a bean or something. Ooh, now I'm 30 and late. The time have you this illusion with potato. Uh. Get in your class, walk to your chair. Flop it's all you see, and then the face of these stare at the teacher. Boy, soon in two o'clock, and you lean back at the school, kept clocking you. Stimulated uh. from a sesame of blood. Tell her as how the wild pussy you cannot aid for this girl. Ooh, <laughs> a slim and trim, whisper in a friend's ear. Quietly, I want him. I took up my books to write my notes in my class, but I kept saying a sign to my dick in that ass. So I turned around to arrange a date. Swinging episode, baby, in other words, gotta say She popped the gum, cold twist the cup I said, baby, how you feel? She said, sure, sad Because of you, I'm hurting Within my, within my heart There's no one not right to be flirting But our relationship has to start You're the one that I'm clocking It's time for you to stop my game Don't want you to see me I don't have a girl named Chandra from way down yonder. 
The apple of my eye had a snapple and some fries But then we continued to talk about this and that We chit and chat Sipped on the coke, then I stroked her back As she giggled and I wiggled through the bra She said, nah, that's when I noticed her pa Big Tank, who did nothing but the spank At parties, drink Bacardi and didn't think Just sack silly with his brother Willie Another hillbilly get ill with the Philly And moonshine, but it's a new time of day On the stoop doing a pad do Okay, it's like the old flip flaps to the shower caps The platform shoes to Apple Jacks Fancy bitches. I, I like me a nasty bitch. <laughs> bitch that's willing to do anything at any given time. Bitch Man, got a nasty. I'm a nasty nigga. nigga. I do anything, baby. I, I wouldn't like give up what it was. I, I, anything. I'm a nasty motherfucker, girl. Bad at quarter to ten. We still in the classroom. We the class to begin. Right? Teacher said, open up your text. Repeat the first paragraph. Oh no, who's sex? I said, oh, who's sex? What kind of class is this? The girl next to me said, what's wrong with you, miss? Drawers dropped to her knees, ripped off my drawers as if she had claws, broke the rules that defied sex laws. Oh, I begged, I begged, easy on my balls, the fragile. I don't know, no more. I don't know. Part two coming up. Man, my he said part two coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what type of classroom he was in. He had to been like in a sex ed type of classroom. I don't think we had that shit back in high school. I don't know what school y'all went to. If y'all had that, comment down below. Because that's a wild ass classroom. And they really took that shit into real life. First she was teaching it. Then she would really demonstrate. She was demonstrating that shit. I thought Eminem had the most demented mind and most dirtiest mind ever. Man, old dirty bastard took the cake, man. He took that cake for sure. This dude is fucking insane, bro. We got part two right here, so this song's called The Stump. Let's keep this story going. Sing the song, sing the song with me. Tell me why, tell me so. I ask you to go high, you tell me to go low, so I go low. Taste the shit. <laughs> Taste again, I like it. I'm the original G O D. Duck of disco or a disco duck. Strictly hip hop, baby, baby. Huh. I can't stop. Woo. Got like come on through. Woo. That's the call for the woo. I came here to wreck the fire. Brooklyn Zoo, terrified. Niggas wanna get up and rap and rap and rap. Man, fuck that bitch. That I make it shit. Long legged life had a boy, had a bitch for your boy, had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the baddest motherfucker in the Brooklyn town? And also represents the other Wu Tang sound. If you wanna jump up and get fucked up, last nigga got up and got shot up. But who's a gangster on the boss track, hanger? Fuck with the Wu Tanger. I'll bring ya. No one is available to be compatible. Yo. This chamber number nine, verse 32, is what we call the stomp. This shit is damn. crazy, bro. Get down for your crime, bro. Stomp, shit. Couldn't touch, this style is too much. It's the llama, I don't give a cripple crap crutch. About any nigga or a nigga rep. Get burnt to the blind spell like a cigarette. Ah. Straight up and down and get dirty to the ground. Rama get me paid mad bread by the pound. Shout out mm. to my crew. Tight as a belt, y'all. Go out and name Big A from the shelter. Ha, uh, from the shelter. He is truly amazing. I'm like, okay, this shit is funny as hell. But if you pay attention to what he's saying, how his flow is, it's cold. Like, and y'all, y'all let me know who was that first rapper on part one. I don't know if that's like a hidden feature because they don't show the feature list on here. So y'all let me know who was that rapper on part number one, that, uh, that story right there. We got track number 10 going down. Let's get it. Uh, Why? Why, bro? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why make that sound? No. Remember when you used to say, who could do this alone? <sighs> He's doing it again! 
change his vocal tone like I'm like who the fuck else on this song I thought it was like a feature or something whole time he just changed up like the way he be sounding like we be doing that shit and low key he got a great singing voice bro he got a lot of soul to him like real shit I thought a whole nother rapper was rapping then whole time he just changed up his tone or whatnot like had that nasally type of voice yeah he this dude is crazy we got track number 11 drunk game sweet Sugar pie. All everywhere throwing up this shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. Come on, come on. Ah, ah. I want all y'all people to feel what I feel. Okay. See, my mama taught me this shit. <laughs> and my daddy learned from a nana. Which is good. And whenever you saw like that shit cracks me up. Sweet sugar pie. Oh, I wish you were mine. Looking so good. Girly, sweet my honey. You look so good to me. Charlie Jones. Love you down. Is it over yet? 
song at all, but I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it all the way in honey, bro. Y'all know I keep it real. When he was doing that moaning shit, cause at first I'm like, what the fuck is that in the back? <laughs> when he was doing that moaning, that threw me off, bro. That threw the whole track off of me. That was still a good song. Because he can actually sing, actually. Like he's a good singer, old dirty bastard. But when he was doing that moaning shit, I don't want to hear another man moaning. Like, y'all, y'all feel what I'm saying? Like, who wanna hear that? I mean, if you a girl, that could probably turn you on. Any females out there watching that, but if that turn you on, hey. But as a man, I don't wanna hear that shit, bro. Salute the old dirty bastard. That was funny as hell, though. I'm sorry, like that. That really threw me off. I had to leave my chair. Like, I know this nigga ain't moaning for real. But hey, back to what I was saying though. Other than that, he got a great singing voice too, and he got a lot of soul. Like you could tell, he was really influenced. From this. I think he said this in interviews or whatnot. Like, he was really influenced by the 70s, 80s music, soul, R&B, pop music. Diana Ross's, Patti LaBelle's, we said Michael Jackson's, Marvin Gaye's of the world. He was really influenced by them, and it's showing on this album. That was a good song and all, but, hey, that moaning, that turned me off. I was like, oh, nah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm going to go to the next song, though. But that was still a good, that was a decent song, though. We got track number 12, Snakes. Let's go. <laughs> Now, number two, practice the snake style. He was known as the snake spirit. He had the speed of the snake. Niggas is like circus out there. Snake style. Circles will bite. Ah. They outside, and then they roll back into their holes. They slither in the streets of Brooklyn, New York. Slither. Whoever. And eat food, but I be the rudest bad boy stepping gun toting. Shot slash out like a violent explosion at the nigga who tries to stop my production. Intervene the scene and slow up the cream. None uh. of that black East New York gun without a doubt. Niggas who front get snuffed out. Justice must be born, there's no escape. Cause a snake can't be reformed, so why wait? Coming uh. in the name to proclaim your fame for protection. And you don't know no fucking lessons. Bad, bad, Leroy B. <laughs> Niggas coming to the trees like a salamander, biting like a piranha. <laughs> but I'm biting your back like a black panther. Uh. The style I'm amping the fuck my name, who I be. Fuck the game, it's all about the money. But the money <laughs> ah, turned uh. into the demon beast. Yo, yeah. fuck that shit. Yo, yeah. show these two. motherfuckers hey. what time it is. This was hard. Huh. Why do we always be yelling? Now number two. We always be yelling. 
Yeah, they I love all the stories these guys told on that song, but you know who had the best verse? I believe the first verse was Killer Priest. He cold as hell. I'm doing some reviews of him on my channel. He is nice. The story he told, them being robbed in the lobby, dude had the shotgun, killed his cousin. It, it was it was poetic, bro. I love that story. I love the story all these dudes told on this. Hey, Master Killer is really showing up on this album, bro. That's what I'm saying. Every single member, everybody is cold in this group. Fucking cheat code. And y'all know RZA. RZA gonna come through. I don't know who that was at the end. Uh, That kind of sounded like one of the members, one of the members off Onyx and whatnot. Might have been Sticky Finger. I don't know who that was, but y'all can let me know in the comments. Dope ass song, dope song. All right, we got track number 13, Brooklyn Zoo Part 2. We got a part two to Brooklyn Zoo. Tiger King, Crane. Let's get it. Come on. Do all that good shit. One chill, one chill. One chill, one chill. One chill. Yeah. 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 No, yo, check this out. Check the joint. This is strictly for the radio. Yo. This is for the radio. The yeah, reason why I cuss is because my mama and my daddy, they grew up cursing. So please yeah. respect my style. Please, please. I'll grab the mic and send you out with the cap. Bring the heel of my you Make sure he slips. What'd he say? <laughs> Yo, his voice be fucking me up. I'm knocking out a damage up. What's the whole stamina? Look, here comes the medical examiner. One burst in your apple of the town. Bring the ammonia. Make sure he slipped the right amount. When can I let you go? So tremendous. Leave me alone like a son. He'll be fatherless. Damn. I got the Asiatic flow mixed with disco. Roll up on the scene like the count on Monte Cristo. Them seeds start to vanish. I rolled up on the jet black kid. The nigga started speaking Spanish. So though, what song? He he just repeated uh the verse off of one of the songs earlier. He said that Monte Cristo line in that uh black kid turned Spanish line. It was one of them songs. I might be bugging, but this might be a reused verse or something. Let's keep this going. I, I peeped that. I don't know. Ass, you made me laugh. <laughs> ah! Get that! Is this the end of the album or something? Y'all know sometimes the album like will rewind to the previous songs. Oh, this is not even the end of the album. What the fuck? What, what's the concept of this song? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna listen to it. I ain't even gonna decode. I'm just gonna listen to it. Daddy learn from a mama. You see what Which I'm saying? Good. Which is good. Sweet sugar. I am why you're true niggas like Dre and Snoop. Chamber number nine, verse 32. Only speaks about Brooklyn. Two. Step through two. Old dirty bastard. Brooklyn. I don't know what's two. going on. With you, with you. But Step we gonna rock two. out to it. Old dirty bastard. Brooklyn. Two. What? With you. Shame with you. With you. Step through two. The old dirty bastard. Brooklyn. Two. Yo, shit. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. Hands down. How do we do? Please play with everybody. Yo, number one is the Brooklyn Zoo.
the screen like that. Niggas don't yell like that. Motherfuckers is the Brooklyn Zoo in the motherfucking house. <laughs> Slim Shady LP ain't got shit on this. This is the craziest album I've ever heard in my life, bro. Like, what type of song was that? Was that the Brooklyn 2? Brooklyn Zoo Part 2 or something? Because the beginning of the song, okay, that was like his own song. Then it went to like the previous songs. That's why I kind of got thrown off a little bit. I thought it was the ending or something. I, I got thrown off. Y'all peeped that? Then it went back to the song. Then at the end, he was just talking on stage or whatnot. This is a really odd album, and it's in a good way when I say that. Like, this is a good album, but this is a really, really weird, odd album. Man, this it's a lot of stuff that got me scratching my head. Like, what the fuck is going on? Come on, bro. Like, y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Like, if I get thrown off, it's something like, what the fuck is that? You know, it get the moments where you just scratch your head. Like, you don't know what the fuck is going on. You trying to figure out the concept, like what the meaning of that song is. This is wild. This is wild. It's a good album, but it's wild, though. Track number 14, Protect Your Neck to the Zoo. Let's get it. Come to with that bullshit. Anytime you pop that shit, nigga. You don't say that. 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 Bro, what type of drugs? And I don't want to say this the same. He was like high on cocaine or something. We made this weed or whatnot. Whatever type of substance he took. But he had to been taking something making this album. Like, look at the way he be yelling. I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Blackout 357 to your man. It's that G-type slang that makes this real sickening Eat uh. the stairs, I got my hand on the trigger Starts from the smallest and hits the bigger nigga Yo, straight out the lava bottom, hellfire's a known mental killer Or a thriller, assassin, a terror uh. a Bloody fatal mixture of carbon and water Homicidal man slaughter This Brooklyn Joe I get down, I get down, I crack a fucking crown Lay around and watch some real niggas break ground I can't stop, it's every rock going up the spot uh. Who 
Buddha Moot, Prodigal Son, Zookeeper, Murder Rock, Killer Priest, 12 O'Clock. It was a lot of members that it don't show it on a feature list. I don't know why, but shout out to them on this song. They killed it. They delivery on this song was wild as fuck. And they punchlines. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. This dude got to be high on drugs or on rocks or something while he made this project, bro. But they do say you make your best projects while you high or something. I don't know if that's the truth saying. I'm just saying I heard that for some people. You like be at your best musically when you... It got to be. They say that about weed. I don't know about cocaine because he got to be off cocaine making this shit. I have never heard an album like this, bro. I knew it. When I went into this, I'm like, okay, it's Old Dirty Bastard. This man is crazy as fuck. This is going to be the wildest shit, funniest shit ever. Never cease to amaze me, bro. I knew it. I fucking knew it, bro. I've got three more tracks on this album. We got track number 15, Cutting Heads. Let's get it. chambers the dirty version because this shit sound way more crazy i never thought i'd say this way more crazier than the uh wu-tang out 36 chambers how the fuck is that possible and that album was fucking gritty as fuck this shit is just this is like the xxx version of that album bro the dirty version it's no way on god's green earth 
that this man wasn't smoking K2 when he split when he made this out, man. Come on, he gotta be on something. He was on K2, some type of psychedelic mushrooms or some crack cocaine or something. Meth and fentanyl. I ain't even think fentanyl even existed back in the 90s, bro. Somehow, some way, he got a hold of that shit in the fucking 90s and made this project. Hey, we got one last track on this album, man. Got track number 17, Harlem World. Let's get it. Shit, that makes me high. Slim Shady LP I just reviewed Y'all was like You ain't hear shit yet I listened to the album This is the craziest Not only this is the most funniest album I ever heard This is the craziest Work 
album project I've ever heard in my life, man. Like, it was points during this album where I was literally dumbfounded. I ain't know what the fuck I was hearing. Especially that one track where they were just rewinding the tracks and all, like, the extra sounds. Like, this shit is the craziest project I've ever heard in my life, man. First thing first, this, even though I did say this is a weird album, I don't want to say weird. This is a very creative project. Crazy as hell, but it's, like, creative in its own right, if y'all get what I mean. I love the features. From Sons of Man, I be hearing about them a lot. Y'all be recommending me their music. I think the Brooklyn Zoo group, of course, Wu-Tang features. They always going to show up. All the features on this album and the ones I didn't mention, they all killed it. The beats on this, I'm pretty sure RZA produced most of this project. Like I said, shout out to RZA. And while listening to this, this made me appreciate his rhyme style, like his flow. Even though he said a lot of crazy shit and funny shit on this I gotta appreciate his style and whatnot. Like I said, his acronym, I think it's like, it's no father to the style. It can't be duplicated, it can't be mimicked. If someone do, he's a fraud, straight up. He got a wonderful kind of style, bro. This album made me appreciate his lyricism. Like, I feel like he's an underrated lyricist. Like, not to y'all, like he an underrated to y'all, but to me, because when I was a kid, knowing old Dirty Bastard, like the interviews or whatnot, I'm just expecting the most craziest shit. But when you understand what he be saying, like the double entendres, like the Ace Sun line, and all the rest of the double entendres, the great lines he had on this project, you appreciate his lyricism. Good project. This was a good project. Crazy ass album. But I enjoyed myself, man. Shout out to ODB, man. Rest in peace to Old Dirty Bastard. And shout out to the son for keeping his legacy alive, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep your father's legacy alive, man. Rest in peace to ODB. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, subscribe if y'all know. My next album review will be Lauren Hill, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Now, with that project, if everything goes right, I actually have a special guest for that reaction who I'm going to bring on to my channel while I'm reacting to that album. So, y'all be on the lookout for that. Y'all going to love that album reaction. So, peace and love to y'all, man. Rest in peace to ODB. It's your boy, Mine. I'm out.